Welcome to our GoDaddy Website Builder tutorial for beginners. In today's video, I'm going to work with you step by step how to create your website using GoDaddy. Their Website Builder is one of the easiest, simplest platforms to use and also one of the least expensive. Normally, the basic plan starts at $9.99 when I was looking at it just a second ago. For your first payment, as long as you sign up for a year or longer, you could get it for $6.99 per month, which is significantly lower than almost any other Website Builder. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can sign up. This is our affiliate link. So if you click on it, sign up and make a purchase, we could earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. With that said, why don't we hop on the computer and get started? Okay, so if you click on the link down below in the description, you should be brought to a page that looks something like this. So your free website is just the beginning, so you can get started for free right here. Like I mentioned before, if you click on plans and pricing, it's gonna show you all the different options. So you can get started with the basic plan. You can see right now it's 30% off for $6.99 per month and it normally is $9.99 and that's what it's gonna renew at after whatever time period you purchase. So if you click on add to cart right now, what you'll see is you can get $6.99 for whatever time period you choose. So 12 months, 24 or 36. And then after that, it's gonna to start to charge you $9.99 per month instead of this price. But if we go back, we can click on start for free. And then so you can sign in if you already have an account, you can continue with Facebook, Google, or basically any email. Let's click on that to get started. Okay, so after you've created an account, it's gonna bring you to a page that looks something like that. It wants to know what are your main goals for creating your website. So sell goods and services, book appointments, write a blog, uh, start with a basic website, share info about your business, or promote yourself. So let's say I want to share information about my business and then click on continue. What kind of website do you want? So clothing store, marketing consultant, real estate agent, I'm just nutritionist, um, personal trainer. Let's see. I'm just trying to see what type of pet training, train, train station, personal trainer, personal website. Let's say I am creating a website as a marketing consultant and then click on continue. And basically what you choose here, it's gonna start to help you design your website. Let's call this JJ's Consulting. JJ's my initials and then click on continue. Okay, and so here's what the basic website is gonna look like. And so you see here, let's edit your site, choose a theme, click on any text or image to edit and then publish your website. Basic simple steps. And so you can see here we have home, shop, FAQ, contact us, and services right now. And then along the top, what you'll see here, you could go to just the normal GoDaddy dashboard. So you'll see here, here's the website that I'm starting to build, photos, business, create a social post, and a lot of other information below. If I go back to edit website, it'll take me back here. So I can at any point preview the website. One of the things I like about the preview here is it shows you both the desktop and the mobile version. A lot of your traffic, I would say definitely more than half, is going to come from mobile. So as you're building your website, make sure that it looks good on mobile as well as on desktop. And then go back to edit site. When you're ready to publish, you can publish the page right here. And then it's nice, I like how they have these next steps up in the corner that kind of walks you through step by step what you should be doing. So one of the first things, write an about section, how to get in touch with you, upload your own images instead of the stock ones, publish, post on social media. Pretty simple. Okay, so let's get started kind of customizing the pages. So what you're gonna see along here, we're editing the website, then you have theme, and then you have settings right here. So this is the site navigation. So you can see which one's home, FAQ, contact and services. These are all included on the menu. And then you see, say, privacy policy. If you go on settings here, page settings, you're gonna see that is shown in the footer and not shown in navigation. We can go back. And then for example, if you wanna edit this order at all, what you do is click on the reorder pages. And then let's say I want the services to be the second one. I can move that there and then click on done. If any of these pages, so I don't think I'm gonna have a store. Let's just delete the shop page. Maybe the FAQ. Okay, and so right now we have just up above, we have home services and contact us, which I think is good. And we're on, let's go to the homepage. And then so any of this stuff is just really easy to go in and edit. So GoDaddy is basically set up, everything is created in sections. You can add new sections, you can edit the text, the photos, 
the colors within a section, but you can't kind of move stuff around within one of the, the kind of sections or segments. And so you can see here, maybe I just say stand out. So I can edit this. If I want to change the alignment so I could center this or right align the accent colors, I can change. So we can basically click back and forth here. The cover media I can click on. Right now it's an image. I could change this to a video if I wanted to. I think I like this image, so I'll leave that how it is. If I wanted to have it come in just black and white, I can change that really easily. What's recommended for the alt text, which is what this is right here for the image description, is to just word for word kind of explain what this image is. So view from, I don't know exactly what this is, if this is, yeah, I don't know, but basically describe the picture in this description right here. I think I'm good with that, click on done. Okay, so we have site navigation, promotional banner, logo. So the thing is here, so right now in logo is just the name of my company. But if I wanted to actually add a logo, what I can do is click here. And then what do we need to do? We could create a logo. They have a logo maker. And if I want, so got it. Let's upload a logo. Okay, so, so let's see. Here is my hot pink logo. There we go. And then what we can do here is click on insert. And then you can see now that it replaced the text for the title to my logo. I can change the size slightly. So let's say, oh, that's too big. Maybe something like that I think works. If I want the background see-through or white. This is the alignment for the page. So it's putting the, the logo in the center. I think I usually like, the, people are more used to this where the, the home and the logo is on the left and then the other menu is on the right. Let's click on done. We have the action button. So link to, so let's see, a page. What page do we want this to link to? Maybe the services page and then the top of that page. Okay, and then the headlines to stand out. You can see, I can click over here and edit, or you can do it along the side here. And then action button. Let's, it's not gonna be shop now. Um, learn about our, learn about our services. It's kind of long, but hey. Okay, so I think we're good for this section for now. And then, we're good there, we can just scroll down. And so here's a section to sign up for a newsletter. So again, if we we can click on and edit all this, it's gonna let you change the accent, you can change the layout. Let's see what comes up in layout. Okay, so there's a couple of premium options here, which we're not gonna do right now. Then moving on down, so we have an about us section. So again, if we click on this, what's gonna happen, we have the background image that we can change. If we want to change kind of the, the focal point of the image, you can move that. So this will basically change what it'll look like if you have a small image when you're looking at it on your phone. The image description again. And then, so if we click on this piece here, it's gonna bring up, okay, so there's basically a bunch of different sections that make up this. So we have three sections right now. If I wanted to, so one, two, three and so what i can do here for for example if i want 10 years to be in bold you can do that if i wanted to switch the order at all you can do that by clicking on these if i don't like the passionate marketing experts i can just delete this one and then see so now there's two of 12 but if i wanted to add another section what i could do is there we go there's a third section again now you can always tell so this is the section close the deal so that's what i'm editing right here and then if i'm not clicked on a specific one of these boxes what's going to happen is this is kind of the overview for the section so do i want it centered right aligned change the accent again i can if i want to change the order like we could with the the menu up above i could just drag this up above now this is going to be first and then what you can do here so we saw kind of editing within a section you can also add a section so what do we have here audio and video you could add your blog or newsletter a general section so you have a couple of different so blog and newsletter and then what's going to happen is going to show you hey here's all the different different options for the blog so maybe we add this blog section to the home page but you're gonna see there's no blog post yet. So we're gonna to have to create that in just a minute. And down below, so add section, what else do we have? Maybe we want the social buttons. Okay, add social button. 
Okay, so what we wanna do with this section, you can see, you can edit, follow us on media, and then twitter.com, Jeff, Instagram, same thing. I think Pinterest is the same. So now we have, these are the four social links that I wanna share. There we go, good with that. And then, you know, here's the footer. So this is something that's gonna be showing up on every single one of the pages. So that's basically how you're gonna go and edit one of the, any one of the pages. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to create a blog. So we added the section right here, but there's not any articles yet. So if you click on blog here, then you can see, hey, there's no articles yet. So create a post, hello. Well, here's my, here's my first article. So you can set a publish date or publish right now. Do you want to allow comments or not? And let's publish. So I can't publish a blog article until I have published the website itself. But you can see I have an article saved. Here's the second blog post. And then so one of the things here, when you see this little plus, so you can obviously type out content, but then if I wanted to add an image, so let's see. I have a couple images here. Let's just add some images to our library. Okay, four images added. And then so what I could do, let's say, let's add this one, insert. So here you go if you wanna add an image. And what you can do here is kind of choose, do you want it to go, you know, to be able to kind of write text around the image or do you want it to take up the whole width? Again, describe the image for SEO and accessibility. And again, it's gonna save the articles. You don't have to do anything else, but just hit the back button. So now we have two blog post articles written. And then here we can go back to the website editor. And so let's scroll down now. And you can see here that it's adding the blog post articles right here. The thing that's a little bit different with GoDaddy is there's not just automatically a page now for blog. So what do I need to do is go to add page, new page, and then you can see there's a couple options. Let's create a blank page, create it. Let's call it the blog. Okay. And then we need to add a section. So blog and newsletter, blog, and then so, you know, choose how you want to display this. So add a blog displayed in a two column list. Okay, so here is our blog page now. And if we wanna go back and manage the blog, it'll take us back here. So here we, we can go back to go to the website editor, the same thing if you're ever at the dashboard. So you can go back to the dashboard. Here's kind of the home, edit the website. We're back at the same place again. So that's basically how the the pages work, how you can edit an individual page and the contents within. So now let's move on to the theme. So it's kind of gonna choose a theme for you based on the type of business you told it that you were creating the website for. But there are a bunch of other themes so we can just kind of go through and see if any of these others work well for what we're doing. I think I like the one, maybe let's go with the modern. So. Here we go, we have the modern theme now, and then we have the colors. So you can see it's gonna kind of select a group of colors for you, but if you wanna change anything, you can go through and customize each color, and you can see that they're gonna update as you go along. It shows you the recently used colors down below. And then the other thing is how co dark, colorful, or light do you want your website? And it'll automatically make some of the changes from there. And so you can see as we lighten it, this thing was colored this kind of red wine color, and then now it's back to gray. So those are the main, so the first thing you have the theme, then the colors, then below that you can choose the font. So they have, you can either choose kind of specific, like here is our primary font. So let's use cabin. And then what it's gonna do is, so you can see here's a combination that they like, so cabin and lato or they kind of give you a bunch of other combinations. So Courier New and Helvetica would look something like that. Maybe, what do you guys like? I think the Cabin and Lato should work. Maybe something like that. And then, so, and then if we click on this, it's gonna collapse the section. Then we have the buttons. So there's essentially two different buttons. You have the primary. So this is, maybe we want 
the rounded one for the primary button so you can see that these ones just changed and their secondary button so you can see no, these ones maybe or this is just telling me I haven't added something to the website but there's basically two different types of buttons so you have this is the button style and then and then use the theme color I could turn that off if I wanted to and change it to something else if I wanted to but I think it's fine with our theme color click on done and then you see you have a secondary button so maybe you're going to use kind of the one that primarily is see-through with just an outline something like that if you're okay with the buttons click on done then what's next we have the settings so from here the settings there's a handful of things we'll run through so you have the basic information so you have the site's name the business category you can add your email address and phone number right here. The social media links, I had already done that previously when we added the section to the homepage. The next thing would be the favicon. So this is really important. You can see up here, this is the favicon for GoDaddy. It's nice to have not the GoDaddy one showing up on your website, but one that you created. So click on upload, favicon, okay. Then you can see now has my initials JJ. Click on done. So then we have get found on Google. So this is a premium feature. You can essentially add the headline and description for every one of your pages. You can select right here. There's more information about how this works in the learn more button. The site history, so all the history of your changes. The cookie banner, so you'll have the pop-up saying the website uses cookies. There's you know the text that goes with it if you wanna change the accept button a decline button, there's advanced tracking. I'm not an expert in this. I would recommend kind of reading through this and then deciding, hey, do I wanna include this or do I need to include this on my website or not? Then go back to settings and what you're gonna see, you have Google Analytics, all these things you need to use the cookie banner if you plan on using any tracking. So Google Analytics, you enter the code right here and you can sign up for Google, An Google Analytics for free at this link right here then moving on to the facebook pixel so we have a whole bunch of videos related to the facebook pixel how to create audiences how to create ads i'll link to the playlist up above right here then you have the facebook meta tag pinterest meta tag and google adsense that you can also add but then the one thing i finished up at the top so i think we made all the changes for this website the next step would be to publish the page your site is published so you can see here is the domain so jjconsulting.godaddysites.com so this is going to be the url for the free website if you wanted to choose a domain you could do that right here the other way to kind of get to this particular page would be to click right below where it says connect to domain. So what you'll see, you can get a free domain with a website plan. It's gonna be free for the first year, not free forever. You can just buy the domain separately. You can search for that here. If you already own a domain, you could click here and I have a domain outside GoDaddy. So we generally don't recommend purchasing domains from GoDaddy. There are cheaper options. We have a whole video walking you through a bunch of them. I'll link to that video up above right here. So after you went through Basically the options here, you would then, so if you said, you know, that I have a domain outside of GoDaddy, it would probably ask you to go through, connect that domain, select the plan, and then you can upgrade your plan from here. Okay, so the site's been published. I think if you make changes to it, you may wanna click on publish again up above just to make sure that any changes you made are on the latest version online. And then so you can see right here, after you publish it, click here, you see jjconsulting.godaddysites.com. One of the things to keep in mind with the free version of GoDaddy or basically any other plan is you're gonna have an ad everywhere on your website, just like this. So some are worse than others. I don't think this is too bad if you're looking for a free website. So that's all there was to it. Were you able to follow along and build your website with GoDaddy? If so, I'd love to check it out. Leave a link down below in the comment section to your newly built website. If you wanna check out other website builders or any other content we have related to building a website, check out the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.